Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library. This video will cover how to use our QB Sales Data tab installer to add a QB data tab with sales totals and past due balance fields to your existing Act layout. We actually wrote a program that will do that, so it's a huge time saver for people who aren't familiar with how to use the Act layout editor um, and just a great time saver. So let's see how that works. Uh, just for those of you who aren't familiar with the Act Layout, this little pull down here where we have basic contact layout 1024 by 768, that's actually your layout selector. So uh, best bet is just pull up the layout that you want to add the tab to and then go to Tools, QB Sales Data Tab Install. This is a new feature that we've added uh, with version 2.0.7.7 of our program and higher. So when you click on that option, it will actually let you either select a different layout or the current layout. And the concept here is we're going to take that existing layout, we're going to make a copy of it, and put an underscore QB at the end of it so that we preserve the original one just in case something happens. So when I click OK, it's actually going to go through and make that copy of the layout. After the layout updater has finished, it'll give you this message, Operation Complete Successfully and it'll switch to the QB, the underscore QB version of the layout, right? So if I hit OK here, you'll notice that it's switched to the QB version here. Now in some cases, the layout editor won't give you that message, um, you know, operation completed successfully. If that's the case, just close out of Act, and then open it back up, right, just like I'm doing here. And then when ACT comes back up, just switch to the underscore QB version of your layout. All right, so pull down the selector and pick the underscore QB version. And then the key here is you'll notice there's a new tab called QB Data. You can click on that, and it's giving you some instructions here. Basically, it wants you to go into the Layout Designer and uh, click on that tab. So let's go ahead and do that. So then the next step is go to Tools, Design Layouts, contact. That'll come up in the layout editor. And then once you're in the layout editor, click on the QB data tab. Just like I do here, you may have to click on it twice. And then click here, just like it says, to complete the installation. What it'll do is it'll go and find all those fields and map it. And when you click OK, you'll have all your fields set. So the only other step left is to exit out and say yes to save. Once you've done that, you'll have a QB data tab with all of your QB sales data total fields on it. Huge time saver for you and you're all set and ready to move forward with the rest of your QB sales data install.